Hi everybody, it's Robin. Um, I'm going to show you the card I made. It's already made, so I'm just going to kind of take you through the steps of what I did. Um, it's Brenda that works with me's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Brenda. And I made this card for her. So, here it is. It's got, I hope you're seeing that, because it's this is the second time I've shot this because I can't get the get it right here. I'm new at doing this, so my lighting in here is terrible. So now I'm going to show you the products. Okay, so the products I used for the card. I used the Sweet Stack from Die Cuts with a View. I've had this for quite a while. I haven't used any of the paper. So my goal for this year is to start using my paper. I'm sure we all make that goal, but I've made it. And I decided to use this lollipop paper, and this is what it looked like originally before I started cutting it. I just decided I wanted to use this section here of the lollipop, because I thought the candy and stuff would be cute. And then a couple pages later here, I got a figure out a way to get to the paper quicker. There we go. There we go. And this is all embossed and glittered. So I'm thinking you're seeing this because this is the third video I've made. And I just didn't like my backgrounds in that. So, But that is the stack I used. Here's the ribbon I used. From American Crafts. I'm pretty sure I got this at Memories on 5th Street in Coralville, Iowa. I used Stays On Jet Black ink. And then the Brazil cardstock I used. I, I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to tell people the colors that I used, the name of the colors, because um, I just, I don't know. I just grab stuff. I used my Sweet Treats cartridge and I used Flower 4, I think, the scallop background of that to cut it. I used Inky Dinky Doo. This is the cupcake stamp set. I bought this a while back. I just love it. I've used this stamp a whole bunch. And then the three here. But on this card, I use this one here, and it's kind of hiding behind that Hobby Lobby sticker. I use this one here. I use the sweet birthday wishes on the inside of the card. And this set here I got today on clearance at Joann's or Michael's. And I just use the happy birthday from that set. So you can see how I use two sets, and it looks great together. What I did to make the card is first I stamped with black stays on a couple different times for the cupcake and colored it in several different ways till I liked what I did. Punched it out with the one and a half inch circle punch. On the scallop, I did the real dial two inch with the sweet treats. And I believe it was flower four. I'm going to grab it and see if I can get that to you quick. What I also did was I stamped the birthday with the black stays on. And hang on, I will tell you what flower that was real quick. And it was flower five, I believe. Oh, you're seeing this? I used, uh, and you can see on these, it's got, if you look through them, there's all kinds of different little scallops and stuff you can use behind your circle punches. It may have even been that one. I'm sorry. I just don't remember. It was several hours ago. I had to leave and then come back and do this. So, I punched out the cupcake, did the two inch circle scalloped. Black stays on for the happy birthday. Just put the paper together with my glue glider and decided what I wanted to cut out. Wrapped the ribbon around. 
On the inside I stamped sweet birthday wishes. And on the back I always do a handmade for you Robin Craze Crafter 2010. So there is Brenda's card and Brenda I hope you like it and I hope your birthday was great. And thanks for working with me. I love you. Bye.